Hi everybody, Matt Bernier here in the Daily Racing Forum Studios, joined by DRF's National Handicapper Mike Watchmaker. It's time to discuss this week's Watchmaker Watch. As always, every Monday you can see the updated Watchmaker Watch on DRF.com. Mike, let's start with the three-year-old males. It's been just a division of revolving doors at this point. Why would the Travers be any different? We have another fresh face, but at least it seems like we can kind of hang our hat on West Coast being the best right now. Right, which is why he moved up from number six to number one. He, uh, he's number one this week, the winner of the Travers, also won the Los Salamitos Derby and the listed Easy Goer Stakes. I, I do think he is currently the best three-year-old in the land, but let's, let's also make the distinction that while he might be the best three-year-old in the country right now, that doesn't mean he actually has the best case for an Eclipse Award. Um, because, and I know people are going to hold their nose when I say this, but always dreaming, as bad as he's been in his last three starts, he won the Kentucky Derby and he won the Florida Derby. And I think, personally, a win in the Kentucky Derby and a win in the Florida Derby is better than a win in the Travers, a win in the Los Alamitos Derby, and a win in the Easygoer Stakes. So from an Eclipse Award standpoint, I think we're in a great big mess but at least in terms of determining who, at this moment, the best three-year-old in the country is, I think West Coast uh, settled that in the Travers. It'll be interesting to see what we get from these three-year-olds as we go on. We still have the Pennsylvania Derby in a few weeks, and then obviously potentially going up against older horses as the rest of the season goes on. As far as the sprinters are concerned, they've been much more formful, let's say. We've had a handful that have been very, very good, and Dreyfon gets back to the top of the list. Right. He goes back from number two to number one. That's where he started the year at, and... Uh, uh, mind your biscuits. Uh, you mentioned formful, and in general, the sprinters have been formful. But the, the single big exception was mind your business, who was a significant no show in the forego. I mean, he just never really ran in that race. And uh, you know, Dre Fong was what was the one to knock off going into this year, and he decisively won the head-to-head -head meeting with a horse of mind your biscuits who won the big Dubai race and also came back and was very impressive winning the Belmont Sprint Championship. But, you know, he had a, he had a step up against Dre Fong and everybody else in the forego, and he didn't. So Dre Fong, uh, very, it's an easy no-brainer decision on my part, moves back from number two to number one, and he's the one that they all have to knock off uh, for the championship. It's going to be interesting to see what we get. We have a couple of exciting three-year-olds as well that could possibly jump up on this list at some point as the year goes on. Mike Watchmaker, the Watchmaker Watch. You can catch it on DRF.com every Monday, always updated. Mike, good stuff. Talk again next week. Thank you, Matt.